and welcome to module three of our breast MRI series. This module will show the different breast imaging modalities and the role of each in the diagnosis of breast cancer, explain the limitations of each modality, explain how these imaging techniques are used in diagnosis. First, let's give an overview of mammography and breast ultrasound imaging modalities. Mammography is a breast imaging tool that utilizes low doses of X-ray radiation. Its role can be split into two usages, the first being screening and the second diagnosis. Screening mammography is indicated for all female patients over the age of 45, younger patients with high risk of developing breast cancer, and patients who have had previous breast cancer but annual screen for reoccurrence. Research shows that annual screen and mammography leads to early detection of breast cancer when it is most curable and breast conservation therapy is available. Diagnostic mammography is indicated for patients with abnormal clinical findings such as breast lumps, nipple discharge, or change in the appearance or feel of their breast. Breast ultrasound is a safe imaging technique that utilizes sound waves to produce images of the breast tissue. Unlike mammography, breast sonography is safe from radiation and may be recommended for patients of all ages. Ultrasound has three significant roles in breast imaging. The first one is to determine the nature of breast abnormalities. The second one is a supplementary breast cancer screening technique. And the third one is to perform guided breast biopsies. The nature of a breast abnormality is determined by identifying the different types of abnormalities detected during the physical exam. Whether it is a palpable lesion, such as lumps, cysts, solid nodules, and others, or an abnormal sign or symptom, such as bloody nipple discharge or a change in the appearance of the breast. Breast ultrasound is used as a supplementary breast cancer screening modality. Even though mammography is the most important tool for early detection of breast cancer, it does not detect all kinds of cancer. Some patients have breast tissues, which contain a higher density of glands, fibrous tissues and ducts, but less fat. These types of breasts may contain lesions that may not appear on a mammogram. Many studies show that breast ultrasound is a supplementary screening tool useful in detecting lesions that are not detectable in a conventional mammogram. Breast ultrasound is a supplementary breast screening tool in the following cases. High-risk pregnant patients who should not be exposed to x-rays used in mammography, Patients who need breast MRI but are physically unable to have it due to discomfort or contraindications to MRI, and patients with denser breasts that could contain lesions not visible on a mammogram. In cases of suspicious lesions, the physician requests a breast biopsy to determine the nature of the lesion. The biopsy is guided under a real-time ultrasound that helps localize the lesion and determine the proper method and equipment required for the procedure. Let's now discuss a correlation between ultrasound mammography and breast MRI. Like any diagnostic modality, mammography and ultrasound have limitations. Interpretation of mammograms and breast ultrasounds can differ from one patient to another, depending on their age, breast density, and pathological history. Mammographic images alone are often not enough for the radiologist to diagnose a benign or malignant lesion with certainty. The possibility of abnormality requires further investigation through other imaging techniques, especially in cases of denser breasts and patients with breast augmentation. Breast cancer may sometimes be undetectable on a mammogram, which is a false negative result, or a mammogram could appear abnormal with no presence of a cancerous lesion, which is a false positive result. To clarify, the radiologist can investigate further using breast ultrasound as a supplementary screening tool. It is important to note that at this time, the ACS does not recommend using ultrasound instead of mammography for screening purposes. Here comes the role of MRI in the diagnostic gap caused by the limitations of mammography and ultrasound. The role of MRI in the breast screening process could be complementary, supplementary, or both at the same time. MRI correlates breast ultrasound and mammogram results in the following cases. MRI is indicated for patients with high risk of developing breast cancer whose mammography results could be inadequate due to their younger age, dense breast tissue, or breast augmentation. Studies show that MRI has higher sensitivity than mammography and malignancy detection for patients with a personal history of breast cancer. 
MRI is indicated for these patients as a routine screening tool to rule out reoccurrence. Mammography and ultrasound can certainly diagnose breast cancer, but cannot confirm the size and extent of the disease in the deep fascia or muscles. MRI can define the true size of the disease and the location of its invasion. Breast MRI is the best imaging modality for the evaluation and routine inspection of breast implants. The presence of silicone or saline implants could cause some anatomy to be obscured or covered using mammography and ultrasound. That is why MRI is a designated tool for the screening of implants and any possibility of breast pathologies present in the surrounding tissue. However, MRI does have its limitations and restrictions as well. Studies show that the specificity of mammography is higher than that of MRI, and that is because of the contrast enhancement of both malignant and benign lesions, which causes a diagnostic challenge. Non-mass-like enhancements are associated with physiological enhancement, fibrocystic changes, and benign conditions, or even invasive carcinomas. The enhanced areas are correlated with those observed on mammography and ultrasound to determine their nature. MRI causes discomfort for older and obese patients because of the prone position required and lengthy scan time. MRI is more expensive than mammography and ultrasound. According to the ACR, contrast mania is not safe for patients with kidney failure because of the increased risk of a rare but serious disease called nephrogenic systematic fibrosis in people with severe kidney failure. Nephrogenic systematic fibrosis triggers thickening of the skin, organs, and other tissues. MRI is contraindicated for patients with pacemakers and metallic implants. Implanted devices, which include both pacemakers and defibrillators, can be damaged by an MRI scan. The powerful magnets can trigger changes in a pacemaker setting, and this may pose a risk for certain patients, such as those who are completely dependent on their pacemaker. Let's summarize what we have learned in this module. Mammography is the best routine screening modality for women over the age of 45 years and for high-risk patients. It is also a diagnostic imaging modality for patients presenting with signs and symptoms of breast cancer. Breast ultrasound is a safe imaging modality necessary for determining the nature of breast lesions. It supplements mammography results in high-risk patients and patients who would not benefit from the results of mammography, as well as guided breast biopsy procedures. Mammography and ultrasound have diagnostic limitations when it comes to determining the nature of lesions or extent of tumors in some patients, in addition to routine assessment of breast implants. These imaging modalities are subject to inconclusive results that could require further evaluation. MRI can close the diagnostic gap caused by the limitations of mammography and ultrasound for patients with inconclusive imaging results. A risk of reoccurrence of breast cancer, determining the size and invasion of a confirmed malignancy, and in routine checkup breast augmentations. Like any imaging modality, MRI has its limitations. The contrast enhancement of both malignant and benign lesions presents a diagnostic challenge. The enhanced areas are correlated with those observed on mammography and ultrasound to determine their nature. The prone position required for MRI is uncomfortable for some patients. It is also expensive. Contrast medium is contraindicated for kidney failure patients. And finally, MRI is contraindicated for patients with metallic implants like pacemakers.